all right so welcome back to another video so today i'm working with angle of attack with my driver and uh, mibo plus uh, as you know preferably uh, it's good to have a positive angle of attack which is what i'm working on so i'm going to show you a few things that i'm working on my swing with the driver uh, my tendency is uh, i do hit up on the ball but unfortunately i my spin loft is a little high so i kind of uh, want to lower that and then I also tend to start the ball a little bit to the left. So I'm going to show you a few parameters and I'm also going to uh, see how um, my drives are affected by me just moving my address position a little bit to the right or to the left. See how that affects angle of attack. So stay tuned. Okay, so first I'm going to take a few shots. I'm not the best with my driver, I have to say. Uh, I'll try to keep it. Uh, my ideal shot is a draw. That's what I aim to, but a lot of times I end up fading the ball, so. Okay, there was a little fade down. Uh, I tend to start the ball a little bit to the left, and my angle of attack was 2.1. So I'm gonna see if I can bring it up a little bit. Okay, that worked really nice. That was pretty good. So, what I did there is just uh, give a little more tilt and uh, just pretend that the ball is back here. So, angle of attack 5.8. So, this was pretty good. And I got the axis to go to the left. So, spinning to the left. Okay, so definitely feeling better. So what I'm doing now, which is feeling really, really good, is I'm uh, just giving a little more tilt, which I didn't do. I was more like this before. Um, I'm trying to hit the ball right here, and I'm trying to re release more to the right. So angle of attack uh, here is 5.1, and the, the ball started a little bit to the right. So that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so another thing that you have to consider is where you're standing with relation to the ball on your address position. If I stand in the middle right there, my angle of attack is going to be negative, just like my irons. Whereas if I stand more to my left foot, then I'm going to have a positive angle of attack. Okay, I feel a little more consistent. Um, the only thing I'm struggling with is just my spin axis just a little bit to the right uh, and the I also tend to start the ball to the left so I'm trying to start the ball a little bit to the right so when I talk about starting the ball to the left or to the right I mean this number right here launch horizontal right now is four degrees to the left so I'm trying to get that as close to zero like on this example I got it to 0.6 to the left so that's that's pretty good up to like two degrees to the left or right is fine as long as i don't go over to three or four degrees to the left or right okay so there's a huge difference i know there's uh, range balls but uh it goes from 200 and 200 yards to 227 or 30 yards uh, so a difference of 30 yards if I basically uh, attempt to tilt a little bit. Uh, I come right here, I pretend to hit the ball right over here, and then I release to the right. And what does that do? Uh, I can see the numbers that the uh, horizontal launch, which means where the ball starts. If I get it really close to starting either a little bit to the right or just slightly to the left, but nothing extreme, then I'm good with that. And the other thing is the spin axis. Uh, I like to see it left. So in this case, it's 1.1 left. So it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be like a little draw. And the angle of attack on this case, in this case was 8.3. So I'm curious to see if maybe I need to uh, just hit a little more up in the ball. So maybe right now I'm averaging five point something. Maybe I can uh, raise it up a little bit, so. Okay, so I think there's two different things. One is, opening the face like this this is gonna go right one is closing the face which is gonna just pull it 
And then there's uh, adding love, which is like this. It's not opening the face, it's just adding love. And then uh, the love thing, which is like this. So more like this. And that's what ideally what you want to do, I guess. Uh, they loft it and then heat up on it. The lofting should not be confused with close in the face. It's two different things. I'm also playing around with my stance right there. So I'll try to get a little more this way, a little bit this way. I think ideally you don't want to do this because when you do this, you get your a negative angle of attack. So definitely stand more to the left on your stance. And so just playing around with different things and try to see what is the best, uh, what gives you the best results. Okay, so uh, there, left axis, so I have uh, spinning the ball to the left, which is what I want. I started the ball to the right, so 1.2 degrees to the right. My spin loft was quite low, I could get a little lower, and angle of attack was 4.0, so uh, that's pretty good for me. A total, a carry of 218 with a range ball is... I'm quite happy with that. So I think when we're talking about hitting up on the ball, a lot of uh, golfers uh, have a misunderstanding because they, what they do is just they, they like uh, add loft to the club. So they hit up on it, but they basically they have a, like a, a huge, they add a lot of loft. So they make their drivers like, you know, right now mine is 10.5, they make it like 18 or 20. So that's not gonna work. Um, what, uh, what they talk about ideally is uh, hitting up with the ball, but kind of de loft your driver. So it's kind of strange, I know, but uh, that's what you want to do. So kind of deal off your driver and then at the same time hit up on it. And that's what is going to reduce your spin loft. So if you have the middle plus, you can look at your uh, spin loft number and you want to have that really low. Okay, guys, so that was it for the video. So experiment with the parameters on uh, the middle plus angle of attack, um, where you start the ball, left or right, your spin loft, you want to keep it low and your uh, spin axis so whether you're spinning to the right or to the left and I think those parameters right there if you keep an eye on them you can definitely improve your distance uh, but trying to you know modify a little bit your swing uh, in my case I need to stay a little bit behind the ball to get that left spin and I need to start the ball a little bit to the right slightly not too much and that way I can get a uh, more distance I also Another thing, I'm just standing a little bit more this way instead of uh, my stand. I'm bringing my stand a little bit to, to the ball, a little more like this. So I hope you like the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.